Hey guys, welcome back, and today guys, I'm going to show you how to put a face cam border on iMovie and KineMaster. Trust me, it's very easy. For the rest of this video, I'm going to use voice only. You're going to see the apps. We're doing um, the face cam border for iMovie first, and then KineMaster. And also, this video was suggested, so suggest other videos, so maybe I'll do them. So, if you're doing a gaming video, what I mean is do, like, record your face cam in a, on another platform. In this case, I did it on iPhone. Okay, first, you're gonna want to open iMovie, so open iMovie. Then, you're gonna click, um, create a new project, the plus sign. Then, click movie. And then, click media. And then, click photos. So, you have to have one solid picture. Um, color, so let's just go to pick monkey. Then I have this blue block, so you click that. And then click create movie. Then there you go. But now, you want to click the plus sign. Then click videos for the face cam. Then click recently added, and then choose any face cam video. And now let's click this one. Click the three dots, and then click picture in picture. If you like these kinds of videos, smash that like button and subscribe because I post videos like these every Sunday. And then voila, now you have a frame. Highlight the face cam clip. And then now click the four ways. And then now you can shrink it and resize it. Resize it the way you like it so you have a frame around you. See, voila, perfect. And then click done. And there you go, now you have a border. Then click the export button. And then you click um, save video. You click um, HD 1080p for the best quality. And then it's gonna export it to your photos. There you go, now it's in the photos. So let's say you want a gaming video of the face cam border, then you just click the plus sign. Then click movie again. Then get the gaming video, then click create movie. See, there you go. So now you're going to add the same face cam with the border. So the same process, click the plus sign, go to videos, recently added, and then there you go. You click it, click the three dots, and then picture in picture. And then now, there you go. Obviously, you want to adjust the clip on the bottom so it's the same length. There you go. And now, position the face cam to like wherever you want and resize it and position it. So you click the four arrows and now you can put it anywhere you want. Let's say bottom left. And that's it. Once you're happy, click done. And there you go. On KineMaster, it's gonna be easier because this is a more professional app. So you click KineMaster. Okay, then click new project and click 16 to 9. Then you click media. Then all. And then now you click the game video that you want. Then click check mark. Okay, there you go. See, there's a gaming video. Now click the layer. Then media again. For example, you could choose uh, recently added. You need um, blue or whatever color um, picture for the border. In this case, it's in photo, so click photo and click all. And then now click this blue block. There you go. Just resize it a bit. Okay, adjust the blue block's picture and the size and position. Okay, that looks good. And then click check mark. Then click layer. Then click media. And then click all and find a face cam video like this one there you go and then shrink it down into the frame okay there you go and click check mark you see the blue block it's a little too much on the side so you can actually crop it okay then you click it and then you click crop it's a good thing about the kind master it's more pro Crop the blue block because it was too big on the side, so make it, yeah, crop it a little. Okay, that looks good. Then click check mark. And then there you go. 
if you want to save it then export it this is kind of like a bonus but always put high quality and then 1080p and then export then skip and boom there you go now it's exported okay guys this is how you pull the face cam border um in um, Pine Master and also iMovie. Make sure to suggest some new videos so maybe I could do them. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Smash that like button, subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.